bit excited about this pro project because we want to find out whether trained dogs can identify people with COVID-19 by their smell. Uh, and this is a collaboration between the charity Medical Detection Dogs and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and myself at Durham University. So what we have to do first of all is collect samples of odour samples from people with and without COVID-19. So the way we're going to do that is by collecting using face masks and asking people to wear these face masks for a few hours and then we carefully collect those. And the other thing we're going to do is get people to wear nylon socks. That sounds a bit strange, but we know from our previous experience that this is a really good way of collecting odours from people and it's such an easy way to do it. The dogs are absolute fantastic animals with an extraordinary sense of smell, probably 10,000 times better than human beings. And human beings actually have a pretty good sense of smell. So we know that dogs are fabulous for detecting um, drugs, um, uh, large sums of money at airports, um, all sorts of contraband. But most importantly, the medical detection dogs have shown that you can use the dogs for identifying a whole range of diseases and cancers, including um, malaria. And the three, the three institutions worked several years ago on a project to, um, to show that dogs, trained dogs, could identify malaria in children by their smell. So as we begin to beat down this epidemic and the numbers become very low, one of the important things is to prevent new infections coming into the country, re-establishing. So in order to get the economy going again, we've got to open up our airports and we think that dogs can play a really great role here if we can show that they can discriminate with high accuracy whether people have COVID-19 or not. So the basic idea is that we could screen tra travellers innocently coming into this country who may be carrying COVID-19, detect those people and isolate them from the rest of the community. So we think this is a really important um, project not just in the UK but we could transfer our skills in different countries around the world.